That is quite deep of dirt inside that area and I've got some things planted but I'm going to plant more in that. Wow. So that stays damp while the rest of this is quite dry land. Oh, okay. Wow. So all the rest of this is just what would grow in the bush. And one night my son came home from his nursing job and drove in and there's a kangaroo in the driveway. Wow. Yeah. Here. Whoa. So the kangaroo thinks it's a nice place to be, yeah. which yeah. is lovely. Yeah. That means it's yes. natural, yeah. Natural. Yes. It feels at home. Yes, oh, wow. and the birds certainly think that eating the wattle seed from here yeah. is good. This is the wattle seed that you find in wattle seed biscuits, wattle okay. seed cakes. Mm. Yes. Now, I'm growing it for food, yeah. but of course the birds get some as well. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes. This patch is um, a nursery area, a, a nice shaded bit. And it's um, of course, that's a shade cloth, you would say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. So the shade cloth makes this area um, stay more temperate, yes. uh, which is good. I've uh, inherited some cactuses and things from my mother-in-law when she died, and I don't actually know what I'm doing with them. Uh, they're still alive, yes. just being in the middle of the garden, uh -huh. and I have a corridor that I can access through to their house but they can access from their house to each of these garden rooms. Hello, garden room. how are you? <laughs> and so, on this side. one at a time, I allow them to graze in this garden, or this one. And as you can see, they're in with the, the tanks, which keeps things cool. Would you like to go back inside, mister? Oh. Yeah, now this is one of my chicks that I had some chicks hatch from eggs and he's getting nearly big enough to crow so he's nearly history. He'll be dinner at some point. Come back. Oh Dottie, come on. Come on Dottie, come back here sweetie. Go on. Oh come on sweetheart. Gotcha. There you go. Yeah, I've got you. It's all right. Ah ha ha! Oh, it's all right. Oh. Last time I came, this uh, there's hardly any canopy like this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the the canopy has grown quite significantly, um, but you can see the top of the mulberry tree. I had a little twister come through. Oh wow! Yeah. And it twisted off the top, <laughs> oh. broke it down. But each of these. Garden, no, it's amazing. Own gate, oh. And I can say, well, Chickies, I want you to work in this one, okay. or in this one, oh. and so on. Oh. And it's all water from rainwater tanks. Hello. So I've got two oh. tanks here and another three in that corner. And that all comes from the roof of the house. Oh. And then the rainwater goes down to the washing machine. The washing machine uses it to wash the clothes but then the grey water from that gets pumped up here in this purple pipe. And, and grey grey water is good for garden. watering uh, plants. Rain water is very good for watering plants. Yeah. But the grey water too. So the only plants that I don't grow in the ground yeah. are root vegetables because you don't want root vegetables grown in grey water. Okay. The, the grey water has got the contaminants from your clothing and, yeah, oh. and skin cells and so on. Um, and this is the patch that I've just replanted, so it's as scorched earth as it gets. Okay. Mm. Um, and later this afternoon I will give it another drink and it will all come back to life and it will be beautiful. So, oh. But you can see the canopy that is formed by the grapes and the passion fruit and the, this is a, a chilla coyote, which is a kind of uh, melon. Oh. Um, Oh, there's, there's the fruit hanging. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a watermelon hanging on the next fence ah, through. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And that's like a zucchini on the inside, but a gourd skin on the outside. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a, a vegetable that you can leave and then, okay, maybe 18 months since you've picked it, huh? right, we're going to use it. So you get through the skin with an axe <laughs> and then, ah, yes, we've got all this fruit inside yeah. <laughs> it's got a, a texture of um like a honeydew melon that kind oh, of yeah. dense but moist yeah yeah you can do this in kenya you already already she's doing already giving me a bunch of rainwater yeah mm -hmm. tank yeah mm -hmm. you know how much rain we get there yeah yeah it's been sunny because this is all deciduous and now 
they're harvesting. Oh. So those two have still got potatoes stored. But I'm growing a nice little corner here. Just a nice shade. And oh. it's going to work. So, Ooh, yeah. so for a small space in a backyard, I've got an amazing amount of green happening. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these grow in my house. Yes. Remember these the, these guys yeah. they climb in your window? Yeah. Yeah, the passion fruit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And this is what permaculture is about. Mm. And inside the shed, because it's covered with the passion fruit and oh. the pumpkin vine, it's much cooler inside the oh, shed. Yeah. Um yeah. So passion fruit from hanging as a curtain. Mm -hmm. And David calls these his Christmas decorations. Yeah. <laughs> so Bubbles. Um, yes. And Along here, I have had and am going to refurbish now these wicking pots. So yeah. this will be green here under these. Wow. Um, wow. And here is my anti burglar device. Nice yeah. prickly oh, thorns. Nice prickly thorns, yeah. Yes, yeah. with beautiful flowers. And it's with these, and particularly these red ones, that I make my, my yeah. rose water. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Rose you see, the, uh, these, 